welcome back for today's episode of the marginal and the absorption costing technique. So today we'll be solving the second question, though the same question, but using a different method. Yes, we'll be solving the absorption costing techniques. So remember in the previous video, I told us that the marginal costing techniques recognizes the variable cost and also sees any other direct expenses as a variable cost. Why the absorption costing technique recognizes both the variable cost and the fixed cost. So let's proceed. Let us solve this question. Step one, the calculation of the variable production cost per unit. If you have not watched the previous video, the marginal costing techniques, please do yourself a favor to watch that video before coming back to watch this video so you understand the steps which I took or which I'm going to take while solving this question. So, step one, the calculation of the variable production cost per unit. Now, this is the absorption, co absorption costing technique. So we are going to make use of both the variable cost and the fixed cost. So we have a direct material, and a direct material is what? Two Naira. We have the direct label, and a direct label is what? Three Naira. We have a variable production overhead. Variable production overhead. And a variable production overhead is what? One unit. And because it is the absorption costing technique, we are also going to recognize our fixed production overhead, okay? So we have what? Our fixed production overhead. Now, this fixed production overhead is given in the total value, right? Unlike these ones that are given the per unit value. So we are going to divide this value to get the per unit cost of it. Now, what are we going to do here? To get the per unit cost, we are going to divide our fixed production overhead by with our units produced. So we'll say what? 140,000 will be divided by what? 60,000. By 60,000. Please take note of this. We divided the fixed production overhead with our units produced to get the price per unit. Okay? So this value gives us what? It gives us 2.333 in line places. Please don't approximate this value. If you approximate this value, it's going to give you a wrong as in a different answer entirely because you are going to throw away some value which are still necessary, which are still important while solving this question. So we have two into the, three into nine places. Three, so into nine places. Now, we are done with anything we need now. Other fiscals will be used when we prepare our income statement. So the summation of everything here gives us eight points. 3 into 9 places again. Okay? 3, 6, and 9. So move over to the next step. And the next step is what? The calculation of the variable cost of goods sold. And we told us that our formula is the unit sold times the variable cost per unit. Remember, this is our cost per unit. Now, what is the unit sold in the question? We have 60,000 units as our unit sold in the question. Okay? So our unit sold is what? 60,000 times our variable cost per unit. What is our variable cost per unit? This is what we've just saw. And we've got 8.3 into 9 places, okay? So we have 8.1234567789. Please don't approximate this value in any question you are solving under the absorption costing techniques. So when we multiply this value, it gives us what? 500,000. So it is equal to what? 500,000. So it is equal to what? 500,000. Now we move to the third step. The third step. This is our step three. And the step three is what? The preparation of the income statement. So we have what? Preparation of the income statement. Using now, which formula are we making use of? The absorption costing techniques, which is the ACT. So we have ACT. So let's proceed. Just like the first video we did, the first tutorial under the absorption and the marginal costing technique, I told us that we'll consider our sales, our fees price, our commission. Okay? We'll do the same thing here, right? So we have sales sales and in the first video i've given us the formula for the sales already right which is what our selling price times the units produced 
Okay, so for, we'll go on times the unit sold. So our unit sold, our selling price is what well, to have 18 naira here. 18 naira times our unit sold. What is the unit sold here? We have 60,000. We have 60,000 units. Remember, we have our naira signs here. So 18 times 60,000 gives us what? 1 million and 80,000. 1 million and 80,000. This is the first thing I did here. Take note of it. Now the next one is to less the cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold. Now, what is the value of the cost of goods sold? We have done the calculations here, right? Which gave us 500,000. So we have what? 500,000 here. Now, by the time we multiply 500,000 from 1,080,000, we have what? 580,000. 580,000. Now, this 580,000 which we have here, this 580,000 represents what? Our gross profit. So we have it what? As gross profit. Gross profit. Now, we move over to the other one, which is what? Less operating expenses less operating expenses so here we are going to consider our sales commission and our other fixed costs so we are going to less operating expenses so we have our sales commission sales commission and i've told us how to treat our sales commission because it is in Kobo, we are going to divide this by 100 then we'll multiply it by the units produced we are going to divide this by 100 then we'll multiply it by our units produced so by the time you multiply, you say 50 over 100 times 60,000, which is the units produced, it gives us what? 30,000. It will be at this section. So here we have what? 30,000. Now, which other expenses? At this junction, we are also going to recognize the other fixed costs. Okay? Now, we have made use of the fixed production overhead, this particular value. We made use of it at this first stage, and when we calculated our variable cost. So coming to this last section, we are going to make use of the order fixed cost. So we have our order fixed cost. Order fixed cost. And what is the value for the order fixed cost? We have what? 80,000 Naira. So we have 80,000 Naira here. Now the summation of everything, 80,000 plus this gives us 110,000. 110,000. Now we subtract 110,000 from 580,000, which gives us what? 470,000 Naira. Now, this 470,000 Naira represents what? Our net profits. Our net profits. 470,000 as our net profits. You can see that we derived at the same answer with the first question we solved. Not because it is the same question, but because there is no closing stock given, okay? If there is a closing stock given, that means um, we are going to solve the reconciliation of both the marginal costing and the absorption costing. But because there is no closing stock, remember, the formula for the closing stock is what? The unit produced minus the unit sold. Now, looking at this question, we have unit produced at 60,000 units. We have our unit sold at 60,000 units, okay? Which is to tell you that by the time you subtract 60,000 from 60,000, nothing it is zero so there is no closing stock given in this question now let's assume there is a closing stock then the step three will be what the valuation of the closing stock then step four will now be the preparation of the income statement and to solve that step three which is the valuation of the closing stock then you are going to multiply your closing stock with a variable cost per unit okay so if there were to be a closing stock let's assume our closing stock is ten ten thousand all right, then this 10,000, we'll multiply it with our variable production cost, okay? We'll multiply with our variable production cost per unit, and it gives us the value of the closing stock, which we are going to use in the reconciliation account. So, my good friends, if you have any question, leave a comment below, and we'll definitely get back to you. If you need clarifications, don't hesitate. Why are we here? We are here for you. I will definitely give you a feedback, and we'll help you. So, keep practicing other questions and get in touch with us at all time. Thank you for being a loyal subscriber. Thank you for making us proud. And thank you for watching this video. We wish you the best in all you do. 
to have a wonderful day. Goodbye.